are in Puno and we're on Lake Titicaca yeah. and we did the touristy thing and rode a boat out here to visit the islands and they gave a little uh, spiel about everything in Spanish which we really didn't know was going on and then they're like oh come look at the house so yeah come, come into our house you go with this one you go with that one so me and, and Tyler then got stuck in that teeny tiny one over there yeah. And um, she closed the door and basically just tried to sell us everything that she Everything had. possible and then like shut us in there with her. It was intense. Yeah. It was like really hard to say no. This stuff is cute, but like we can't carry everything yeah. <laughs> that's around here. Anyways, these are the Isles de Erdos, or the Erdos, I Erdos Islands, which are basically all floating islands made out of this straw stuff. It's all traditional people who still live here besides the touristy section. We've been in Puno for a little bit. It was rainy and wet and we were sitting in the hostel, so we finally like walked around and just found a random little tour out here. Ten dollars each yeah. instead of ten US dollars, so I think we did yeah, good. Super cheap. <laughs> so not only after being in the house, we all got on this little straw boat thing and they sing songs. And then told us we had to pay to ride the boat while everyone got on. We didn't bring any more money with us, so we're like, ah, uh, we we just paid for the boat to get here. We can't ride the boat. And then they just like started doing things, and we heard Gringo. And then eventually they told us to get off, and it was really really awkward. Yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, so now we're it's just cold out there anyway. Yeah. So so they're they're out there on the little the little boats. Being pushed by mm -hmm. like a one motorized yeah. boat. So we're in here being warm right now, just waiting it out. <laughs> we really don't know how long we're going to be sitting here, so we're just kind of hanging out on this boat with the driver. Hashtag no tourist traps. <laughs> <laughs> So first is gonna whoa. <laughs> Stairs up. So first is gonna be our exit stamps out of Peru. Step one completed. Stamped out of Peru. Now we're in no man's land if you can't get into Bolivia. You have a rough idea of like how difficult the U.S. citizen crossing is in Bolivia. We have to have 160 USD passport photos, copies of passports, uh, printed itinerary, printed hotel accommodation, printed bank printed bank statement or credit card. Um, Proof of hour and travel. Oh, and our bills that we're paying our $160 with have to be like perfect. So step two is fill out this immigration form and then he's gonna come meet us, our Bolivian guide, and hopefully be able to help us out. <laughs> one hour later, we're through. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one hour. <laughs> yeah. The main bus we were on left, so now we gotta ride the mini bus because <laughs> it took forever. We had to get all our documents sorted out, borrow money, all kinds of things, but. We got our hideous visa pictures and we're good to go. Just got the Copacabana. I gotta go find an ATM and Jordan's feeling sick, so I'm doing it on my own. We gotta pay all these people back that we borrowed Bolivianos from. But this town looks pretty cool. The weather's cool and there's a lot of people, so it's lively. But the goal right now is just to find an ATM and get used to the conversions. Found the ATM earlier, got the money, found Jordan. We went out to grab some food and oh my god. So I got fresh lake trout fried soup and dessert, three course meal for 20 Bolivianos, which is like $2.33. It's insane. So in total with everything we got, we spent 65, which is like maybe $9. Food is cheap here. So now we're gonna go find our hostel. This is officially the cheapest hostel we've ever stayed in. It was, we found it at random because we got here late and just had to book something to get through the border. We paid $8 USD for a private room, but it has quite the shower and bathroom. <laughs> so if you look in here, you come in and it's just an electric heated shower and a toilet. All things a shower and bathroom. So you can poop, pee while showering, whatever you want to do. We're about to head out on the town and go hiking around a little bit. There's a mountain right to the north of here we're gonna go up, and then we gotta go to La Paz later tonight. So this is a uh, like the really big church in Copacabana. And it's really important because there's a big statue that's inside that's really decorated. And on the weekends and holidays and stuff, 
a lot of locals come here for like a 10 minute prayer for good luck or in safety. Um, they like decorate their cars with flowers and all that. We seen some of it yesterday, but that might have been the festival that's going on in the area. So we grabbed lunch, super cheap again. Now we're back out walking. We've got a few hours until we got to catch the bus to La Paz. So we think we're gonna go hike up this little mountain right here and get some cool pictures of the bay and all that. We're not gonna have time to go to the Island of the Sun, I don't think, which is unfortunate, but can't do everything. Beaten trail. I ain't climbing no rocks today. Nope. Nope. The sad thing I'm finding about South America is there's like so many beautiful areas and so much pretty nature, but so much garbage everywhere. I don't know. I don't know why it's like that or what the cause is. I'm not gonna blame anything, but it's just this like beautiful mountain I'm on. There's just bottles, like hundreds. Of of you in many crosses. Yeah. We should put some toy cars up here. I don't know if something with the celebration that's going on or why there would be a bunch of toys for sale at the top of this mountain. But there Maybe is. <laughs> so yeah we've just been kinda bumming around today. We walked up this mountain. I don't know how long it's gonna take to go back down but we have to leave to go to La Paz at 6 p.m. So we're just having a chill day and doing everything on our own. But so far with good weather, Copacabana is really pretty. Uh, Sunshine. As I was saying about the environment thing earlier, the garbage here, here's a heaping pile of plastic burning. So after getting kicked out of this little spot, we were sitting down over here because we weren't buying anything because we have to meet at this white anchor for our bus. We moved to this rooftop terrace, and now we're gonna be fat and get a banana split. We just ate. <laughs> but not dessert. Yeah, we can't stop, but this view. It's worth it. So are we getting the banana split? In the end, it was neither. It was banana and milk and chocolate. Is it yummy? <laughs> All right, the buses are arriving, so we are taking off from Coca Coca Copa Cabana. To La Paz. I'm pretty pumped about it. See you in La Paz. Yeah.